really consciously develop the style. I think there's a couple of things. I'm quite impatient, so I like the immediacy of kind of cutting and the marks I make are often quite crude and quick. I can kind of work as nearly as quickly as I can think. But then also because I'm working with fashion image a lot, just aesthetically I like roughness with that kind of highly finished glossy fashion image. I think they're kind of complementary, the juxtaposition. I really like the idea of turning inanimate objects into characters and creatures and things and what you can take away from a human space, which part of the picture is the character. I think that's like an interesting theme that I personally play with. There's just a moment where all of the right forces align and like bang, the image is like it works. Until I've reached that point, I'm not going to leave an image alone. But I don't feel like you've reached that point through perfection. I think you reach it through imperfection. You reach it through losing control and messing it up. And like, I don't feel like I get to that point on purpose. I just understand when that point has come. Like your eye knows what to spot and understands what from your hand is good and what's bad. It's not that my hand knows how to make it, it's that my eye knows how to spot it. The key to my creativity is knowing which accidents are the ones that are worth keeping. I think if you felt successful be at the end of your career, like, that would just be like lethargic or like... We need to have that nervousness to compel you to kind of work really hard and work out how to be original. Don't let rest on your laurels, like do new things. I'm Quentin Jones and this is my work for the Remix Project.